third time I'm starting this. I'm wearing a top. Relax. <laughs> channel wow I'm actually quite excited for this video I haven't done one of these in ages and this is a I think um, mini haul slash favorites um, slash a whole lot of like new product launches that are coming about um, end of this year and so I thought I would just feature some of them and also share with you things that I have purchased as well over the past couple of months and then of course which of those are my favorites let's get into it <laughs> I'm gonna start off with makeup and so I featured this in my back two videos back which is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette this is my basically now my everyday palette and it is super pigmented amazing I've done a whole um, eye look on this in a but two videos back I'll link it down below um, but this is definitely a favorite um, I picked up the black opal deluxe finishing powder as you guys uh, saw my video where I do baking um, so I at that time I was very new to baking first time I sort of like tried it and the baking powder or the powder that I used was the Mac translucent finishing powder or setting powder whatever and um, obviously I just think that it was too the flashback wasn't great I looked very dry I went out and picked up the black opal deluxe finishing powder which is an oil control formula and they have this in a variety of shades there is a translucent then there is um, then it goes from light or natural light to deep or dark I'm not too sure so I got it in medium and I am obsessed with this you can see the color there um, and it, re it really sets it flies everywhere though it really sets your makeup in place I don't sweat I don't get shiny nothing happens you guys and you know that's going to be so crucial for summer like you don't want to mess around with that especially on days where you want to look beats and all of those things you're going to want to have this and this is not expensive at all i believe it is like 260 around that mark so love this and you can get this at selected clicks and fashini stores so anytime you enter into clicks or fashini just go in go to the black opal uh shelf and you'll probably see this and I got the shade medium. I love it. Okay, talking about something a little bit different on my channel, which is perfume or fragrances. And I am obsessed with the Michael Kors Wonderlust fragrance. I love this for summer. It's just the most perfect, like, daytime, oh my god, fragrance. And every time I wear this, I get complimented on it. It is divine. It is divine so that's my daytime fragrance for nighttime i like to use this and this is the alaya uh, paris fragrance this is the first fragrance by azadine alaya it's a fashion designer if you know um kim kardashian always wears these alaya shoes which are so gorgeous and so um that's that same fashion house that has come up with a fragrance this was like last year though but i only got my hands on it this year first of all the bottle um is me like this is me <laughs> especially at night time if you're trying to impress this is gorgeous I love this um onto body care I want to share um what I have been showering with and moisturizing with and I'm oh, I love it so much so I shower with um lush happy hippie this is my second bottle and um I love like grapefruit um scents right now it's so fresh it's so summery it's natural like it's not an added fragrance sort of like to your body as opposed to the perfume that you would use it is citrusy but not overpoweringly so it's just fresh it's just like I'm um, walking in a orange tree forest with a lot of greenery about to step into a infinity fountain 
And then um, after that, I like to moisturize with the Lush Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion. So I bought this on accident, but obviously this is my second tub of this. But when I initially bought it, I had been looking for the body conditioner, which my friend uses. And I had asked her, do you know the name of it? When I was inside the store, she was like, she doesn't know the name of it. I didn't pick it up that time. I settled for this one the last time, so I got this one. And I wasn't happy because it wasn't thick like the body conditioner was so I went into Lush again this weekend and I was like listen I want the body conditioner and they were like oh but you you use that and then you shower you rinse it off afterwards so I was like okay but my friend doesn't rinse it off I was so confused so they had said that you can leave it on or you can rinse it off it's up to you so I was like you know what maybe for summer I don't want something that thick anyway so I went back for the sympathy for the skin had and body lotion it still smell still smells oh, so good it's so natural and it has cocoa butter and bananas oh like and your skin afterwards feels so smooth along with this I also picked up the um, Buffy no probably not Buffy it's not Buffy um, but some body exfoliator, I forgot the name. I can't take it out the shower because it's wet and it'll and it's and it's obviously separated now. Um, but it is such a good exfoliator. I think during summer, I really love taking care of my skin, my my, my body. So um, I just want it to be the softest. I want to have the softest skin in the world. This is what my mission in life is so I exfoliate I use body oils I use you know I love lush for that it's amazing I absolutely I'm obsessed with lush right now and then jumping on to skincare really quickly I added a new um, facial wash to my routine I use this every other day not every day and this is the LMS dynamic resurfacing facial wash you guys know that I um, love LMS I've been loving LMS for a few months now um, um, but I have had my eye on this uh, facial wash for a very long time face feels very very clean after using this days when I don't use my um, Clarisonic cleanser or brush I love to use this as well then I don't want to bore you with skincare and makeup too much but this is the SkinCeuticals clarifying clay mask and I mentioned this in a blog post recently um, on three face masks that are currently on rotation on my beauty shelf and this is one of them this is the um, this is a deep pore cleansing um, uh, face mask and the thing with this is that like you come across a lot of um, like deep pore cleansing face masks that are clay masks so how they work is that you would apply them onto the skin and then you allow them to harden and then you have that really hard stiff layer on your skin once it's once it's what supposedly, supposedly done the work and then you like rinse it off the thing that I learned with clay mask is that that's not really how you should be doing it you don't want this to fully harden onto your skin primarily because at that stage it's just drawing out excess um, moisture your natural moisture levels and nourishment which your skin really requires you want to be pay very careful attention to the three phases of using a clay mask which is the first phase is the damp phase when you initially uh, apply it to the skin and that is your skin basically just uh, grabbing all of the minerals and stuff from the actual um, ingredients in the mask and then you're going to enter the second phase where it starts to cool and dry um, and so that is a stage where now um, your blood capillaries get moving your blood flow is stimulated and it's just working together with the mask to just get the ma ma maximum um, benefits and then after that before it's fully hardened you, you definitely want to rinse it off because after that point it's just um, taking out or withdrawing or drawing out um, moisture which your body actually needs and then you have and then you feel um, you need to overcompensate by moisturizing 10 times more than you actually would which is not a really good thing for you and um, yeah it's just overall quite irritating and um, your skin itches or mine does at least when I used to do that in the past but now I don't do that anymore I take this off just before it gets fully hardened and also the difference between this one and other like clay masks that I have used is that the hardening stage it's still very very uncomfortable even if I do take it off before 
this is a very very comfortable mask to wear I thoroughly enjoy it it is quite pricey it's above like a grand I think I think one two five zero so it is quite pricey but I have to say I thoroughly enjoy this mask this mask and you use it all, all over your face your neck and your decollete so I have breakouts like sometimes on my chest area which really bug me but um I apply this that area as well so this is definitely a mask I would recommend for summer if you want a deep actually all year round but if you are looking to clear your skin and just draw out all those impurities I spend so much time on this one product but um, this is one I definitely definitely recommend if you want to save for it and get it you will not regret it guys so um, I'm also using a new moisturizer I ran out of my in my in my skincare routine I was showing you that I was using the Kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer so that ran out and um, just in time I got the Elizabeth um, Arden Privage anti-aging moisture lotion um, it's got SPF 30 so yes I am all for it I'm trying to use it sparingly because it's so expensive it's like one two or something for a moisturizer I know but the Privage range is really really good for anti-aging and while I don't really use a whole loot of anti-aging products I like to just at least use one or two because as a preventative measure just to make sure I'm staying on top of the whole situation I have been loving this and okay first of all the bottle secondly it's just so so you push it out like that and then you deposit the lotion into your hand from there and then you go like this so yeah it's got sun protection it's moisturizing it's anti-aging it's not thick at all it's not greasy it's just the right amount of um, moisture and hydration that I need in a daily moisturizer and I don't prime after this I don't prime my skin before makeup after this I feel like as though my skin is so smooth the texture is amazing uh, makeup up application after using this is amazing so I am obsessed with this day lotion I love it I love it so anti nail polish you guys know summer is here <laughs> yes I'm so excited I don't know I'm so excited for the summer this year like I actually can't even keep it in I'm actually like whoa okay so um these are a few just three colors from the Essie uh, summer collection and um, this is green shimmery color here which is called Viva Antigua a gorgeous gorgeous turquoise color probably the same color as the ocean in Antigua and then we've got a beautiful beautiful uh, coral pink shade matches my lipstick a little bit and this is called buried treasures this is so gorgeous oh my gosh I cannot wait to wear that I will love this as I said to you in my previous video I'm gravitating towards bright and bold colors this December so I am actually yes this has my name all over it love it and then we have of course no collection is set without a nude and this is called coconut cove it's an off-white shade and I love the brushes these days they are quite thick love it almost done guys almost done for hair so right now my hair is in its natural state well relaxed but um, I don't have any uh, extensions in or anything like that so um, I am I went to this Moroccan oil event a few weeks ago um, where we got to play around with the dry texture range which is for all hair types and they said you could use this on relaxed hair um, you know or natural hair which um, I don't know yet but I'm looking forward to using this on a deep wave uh, wig or extensions um, I think this would just be so amazing or if you even have straight extensions and you just want to add a bit of volume to a beach wave it literally is called beach this is literally called beach wave mousse so you know this is for summer guys and the texture clay and this clay you sort of rub it in between your hands a little bit I obviously you see I haven't used it as I don't have extensions in um, rub it in your hands a little bit and it just creates that volume and thickness that you want so yes if you have if you are rocking your inches this December and you want to play around with a bit of with, with texture um, do beach wave vibes and that sort of thing 
um, this range might be the one for you. And then speaking of summer, I also got myself some summer sandals and some heels. So um, I went on Superba List last week and I just picked up these flats. And these are Daily Friday. Um, I really love that vendor actually. They have some really cool stuff. It's very like, um, very minimal but still quite um, chic and elegant if that's the right term I'm using. Um, but I really love this. Their quality is really good and these are only $1.99. Obviously, I've only worn them once, so I'm yet to see how long they really last me this holiday. But I don't think I'll be wearing them every day. I buy so many sandals throughout summer that um, I literally just, I don't even throw any away. I just keep on using them. And I almost wanted to return them, but I kind of figured um, they would come in handy. Um, there would be an outfit where I'd be like, oh, I wish I had had those. So I don't ever want to take things away like that, especially if they were only 200 Rand. So these are really, really nice, very minimal, quite cool. And yeah, I really like those. And then I got these heels, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with them. So you might be thinking, you might be thinking, it's not New Year's yet, so you're so sparkly. Nana, nah. these will be my lunchtime heels this summer. Watch me. <laughs> and these are Steve Madden um, Stacy heels. Ooh, yes, look at that. Oh my god. And then I got another pair of heels from Superbalist um, by the brand Madison. And it's these ones here. These are so cute. They're very high though. I was comparing I was comparing oh, I was comparing them to all my other heels and they are quite high, especially in comparison to the Steve Maddens. Um yeah. That's that. So it's quite high, but they have a platform which is where it is forgiving so um, anything with platforms I'm really fond of because it makes the shoe much more comfortable so yeah these are the part by the brand Madison they have really nice shoes this brand this vendor on Superbalist I quite like them and these ruffles so cute so cute and then you tie the shoe then you let the tassels dangle like that oh um, there is black and there is nude but I went for mustard because I was like the mustard is just calling to me I don't know didn't know what I was gonna wear it with I still don't know what I'm gonna wear them with probably like um, denim or something white I just don't know but I feel like you could dress these up dress these down and because the material is suede I feel like you can rock it as a casual look with a casual look but because it is a heel you can also dress it up again with a more formal look so you have that you have that sort of um ability to play around with it a little bit so i love these otherwise that's it guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this mini haul slash favorite slash new in whatever it's called whatever i hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye